But he's camping. Camping off the 405. Wow. In 1. Sounds 6 like miles. fun. I got the call right now from Leia that I need to, to do a bunch of stuff at the house uh, before the the workers can can do the paving this uh, this weekend and I also have a bunch of stuff I gotta go. Oh, that's the house. Speak the devil. Hello? Hey, you staying late today? No, I'm leaving right now. Um, can you come home then and then we'll um we'll go to Lowe's? to look at doors, Lowe's or Home Depot. Actually, Home Depot is better. They have more, I think. Okay. And then you can get the herbicide there. I will come straight home. And then we can go to Walmart. I really need to go to Walmart. We can do all that today. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. Yeah, so uh, the side of my house, we're gonna have to start entering and exiting the house to the side uh, because the gravel that they laid out needs to be relatively uniform and walking all, all over it screws it up. So, um, first thing I gotta do is clear that whole area so we can walk in and out of there, which is gonna be not easy to do. So I'm gonna need some herbicide. And then um, I've gotta reroute the water line, and I'm sorry, the, the drain line and the air vent uh, for the washer and dryer. And that needs to be done through the garage. So I've gotta pull all my tool bench and everything away from the garage to make this work. And if I haven't said it already, hello, good afternoon, thanks for coming by. Charlotte, what did mommy do? What did she do to me today? I came home and this is sitting here. Those used to be full wings, like whole wings with meat on them. And that used to be more of a pizza. She trapped me. That was a booby trap. I came home, she was on the phone doing work stuff in the bedroom and said, watch the kids. I was gonna cut myself some meat and have a little cheese plate, meat and cheeses. And then I'm watching the kids and immediately. You had a slice of pizza before you took over the I had two slices of pizza, a breadstick, and ate all of those wings. But you had a slice of pizza. No, before. I was I was holding Edison while I was eating it. No, no, no. You came in and took the kids after you had already eaten because you were like it's messed up. You said messed you up. Come into the bedroom sooner. But you were busy eating pizza. I'm not gonna see. No, this is this is normally you know, sometimes with some quote unquote diets, people would be like, "Well, that was it. It's over." But me, no way. We should go for ice cream since you've already. Won. Shut up. <laughs> God. We're at about two weeks of work here. So the first thing they did was they removed our lawn down to um, the compacted dirt. Then they started trenching. Once the trenching was done, they built the frames for the concrete foundation. And um, <coughs> and then they dug out where all of our utility, our, our, our sewer line and our water line are somewhere in this vicinity. Yeah, they're right here. Um, then they put down the rebar. They um, put in the foundation bolts um, and they put in a vapor barrier, then gravel. Uh, and then at this point, we had already had the plumbing inspection because they needed to show that this sewer line, um, that the backflow was working and that all the, um, all the piping, the underground piping works. So like dumped water, checked to see if it was mm -hmm. leaking and all that stuff. Um, then, they dug the, the deep holes for the yeah, anchors, for the, yeah. the footings. And then today our architect actually had to come back out to certify that the foundation was built according to the engineering plan. And then tomorrow they will come and inspect. The city will inspect, receive the report from the architect, and then they can pour on Saturday. Wow. Tomorrow, they'll be pulling the eaves off of the house because they'll need to do that for the framing. Mm -hmm. uh, and in addition to that, uh, 
They got to reroute the. Well, the, the water. The water they're actually going to save for the end. Oh. The what they're going to end up doing is um, once the framing's done, they're going to create a water main here. They're going to tap it off the um, the main line, mm -hmm. um, run the main to the front, and then do the piping through the roof. Can reconnect oh, because everything. everything's through the roof now, right? Or through the attic, yeah, exactly. Ah, and then they'll cut it off so that we won't smart. be without water for more than a day. Smart. Uh, the other thing, and we're gonna need to go shopping for a front door because yeah. once the framing is in, and I believe once the windows are done, they're gonna start tearing out the walls. And one of the things they have to do for the framing is this wall is like a load-bearing wall. It's this one? So yeah, so this front wall, they're gonna have to tear out to to brace mm -hmm. the um, the roof during the framing process. Right. Um, so that'll be the first wall that comes out. But that's after they framed it. Ben, stay over here. Yeah, but so basically <clears throat> we need to we need to pick the door. The windows are already ordered, but we need to go pick the door. Because it's gonna happen fast after yeah, this. exactly. Cool. So a bit different than normal, we're going to Lowe's. Usually my, uh, it's either Osh or Home Depot, Lowe's is always last. I'm not a big fan of Lowe's. I find that the people who work here are not the highest skilled in whatever area they happen to be serving. So we're looking for front doors. Yeah. yeah. So nice. Tone. Ben has like established his own language and, and words already. Sone means something we don't know, but it's serious to him. Here, I found a red one. Oh, you don't like that. Ooh. Oh, no. No? Yeah, I like that. That's the Sheldon. It's a fiberglass door. So fiberglass doors are supposed to be particularly good for insulation and they um, require virtually no maintenance, but they can crack. Oh. Whereas steel doors... Can get dinged. Right. They are... Um, How about this? A like a castle less. door. What is this? This is a, another fiberglass. Oh. I don't want anything with glass. I don't want anything where somebody can like break it and open the door. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this castle door is what you want? No, I, I do want something that left in life though. I like this craftsman door. You don't like the glass though, right? No, I don't like the glass. I figured you wouldn't. Oh, I like this. Yeah, I like this. I like this too. And it's the right size? How much is it? It's a reliable... 237. And you're okay It's steel. With steel? Yeah, I don't care. What I'm going to do is once they frame and they get this thing up, I'm going to put a metal strap in the frame side. I'm going to chisel it out and bolt in a metal strap and that will prevent kicking uh, people kicking the door down because, yeah, whatever. A little anal, but hey, make them go through the glass in the back like a proper robber. <laughs> and no trip to the, uh, no trip to any home improvement center is complete without going through the hand tool section because you just, that's what you do. These are the best parts of going to these places is the tools. I actually have to, I didn't know Lowe's has so much Irwin. I like Irwin tools. I don't like Cobalt, but I like Irwin. I'm probably made by the same people. Oh my God, they're playing the cranberries. Well, sometimes you just have to let it in. Oh Jesus. That's like a song about not flushing a toilet. on a magnet I'd lose that thing in a second lights pretty much if they're not gonna be like a handheld light or a headlamp pretty much have to have a magnet in my hey where are you going I don't know why we're coming here exactly but we got something to buy what are we buying what are we buying Groceries. grocery vegetables that I eat broccoli Green beans, lettuce. I don't generally like other vegetables. Is it farmland thick cut? 
that the bacon that was recommended to me? Hold on. Farmland. Naturally hickory, hickory smoke. Oh, that's applewood. This is applewood smoke. This is hickory smoke. That is not the one I need. Shoot. Sorry, P226 nut. Um, they only have the hickory smoke, not the applewood. Tell me if that makes a big difference. They also have FUD. So, so that's something. They got FUD. We got you outfitted with a snack pack. Is that what's going on right here? Yeah. You snacking? How's that? Is it good? Yeah. All right. Seriously, guys. If you have, if you see this anywhere, buy it. You will not be dissatisfied. You may burn your culo, but it is good. <laughs> All right, guys, that'll do it. I'm I'm getting tired. We got a lot going on around the house. I gotta rip out all that ice plant tomorrow. That's gonna be a pain in the butt. So, question of the day, kind of in line with the Mrs. Run Throws. What's your favorite kind of condiment? I guess you could have a name brand if you wanted, but ketchup, salsa, sriracha. Sriracha is like one of my favorites. Anyway, post your comment below. Talk to you later. See ya. End of the video, and this is what we call a trailer. It's where I ask you, if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see my day-to-day -day vlogs, hit subscribe. And if you want, I've got a whole playlist with over 700 videos just talking about stuff that you just watched. So if you enjoy all of that, go check that out too. I really appreciate you coming. Comment below. I engage with everybody. And thanks a lot.